Hey guys, welcome to one of my technology reviews. Today I have a special um, box here. I've been waiting for this for a long time and um, I'm so excited about this. Um, it's actually something I wanted to use on a regular basis and um, um, I have it now. It's actually the Surface Pro. Uh, I have the mid-range which has a 256 gigabyte SSD, an i5 CPU and 8 gigabyte of RAM. It's a standard office one. Also in there I have the latest pen as well and I also have the latest uh, keyboard which is the one that is a bit more um, you know uh, more luxury. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I do have the latest pen in the box here the latest uh, Surface Pro pen but I also have the old Surface Pro pen right here. I borrowed this from a friend of mine and I just want to compare the two as well so um, let's see how it goes. So let's see what's inside. A piece of paper that contains what I have asked for. Nice, everything's in here. Bubble wrap, more bubble wrap. Put that aside. That's the Cobalt Blue keyboard right here. Looks good. Put that aside. Um, the Surface Pro Dock, I'm going to be using that quite a lot. So uh, we have the Surface Pro Dock. The new Surface Pro Pen, oh yeah. And finally, the Surface Pro itself. Okay, so I have the Surface Pro out of the box. Uh, I want to open this, so um, let's go ahead. And, you know what, it's very nicely packaged. I, do, I don't even want to open it, so, um, but I got it. So let me just check the specification, Windows 10 Pro. Uh, Intel Core i5 processor, 256GB of um, SSD hard drive and 8GB of RAM. So I've got the model 1796, whatever that is. So that's the model here. It's a very nice box actually, I do like it. It's a very solid box. Here we go, the Surface Pro. Surface Pro, pull it out. Ooh, right. So we get the Surface Pro itself. It's pretty light. It's about, they say it's about 750 grams. So it is 750 grams. What else do I get in the box? I get Surface Pro instructions, I suppose, and the warranty card. So that could go aside. I'm not really fussed about that. I'm assuming that's the charger. Anything else? The uh, packaging. So let's put that back. Now, let's just check the charger. Yeah, there you go. That's the charger right here. You have um, just your standard. This is really light. I love this. Just the, the portability of this is amazing. Right. So for the Surface Pro, let's have a look. So uh, the satisfaction. Alright, we have a Surface Pro right here. So uh, um, in terms of connectivity, it's got the keyboard um, connection on the bottom right here. It's got uh, the power supply here and it's got a USB and a DV output as well. So USB DV and on the other side, it's got the headphone jack and at the top you have, I assume, the power and the volume keys as well. So um, it's got a camera at the back, it's got the Microsoft logo and it's got the, the stand. I'm not sure where the SD card connection goes. All right, the SD is just right, right here. See that? That's the SD. So um, there you go, stands up. Let's take a look at this. Let's switch it on. While this loads, um, obviously I've got my friend's pen right here. Um, the new pen, now that is supposed to be much more sensitive. Uh, you could do a lot of details. I'm not sure how much I'll be using the paint, but I'm sure I'll be using it quite a lot because I do like um, to draw once in a while. So um, we'll see how it goes. So um, I'm, I'm gonna, obviously, might as well buy it. Uh, the pen, 
and is surprisingly nice, you know? So while this loads up, leave that aside. Let's talk about the pen. The pen is um, looks exactly the same. I've got silver because that's the only model that I had available. Um, in the box, you have papers, instructions. I assume how to connect it. I don't read, I don't read instructions. Just a standard uh, pen box. I go back here. Now the pen is. It's not exactly the same, look at the difference. So I'm not sure how much that will show, but the old one is looks looks heavier. You know, it looks nicer to hold. It's got a, it's got this, the other one hasn't got that. Uh, um, let me see if I could remove this. So, so the pen comes, this is blinking. There's a light here blinking. I'm not sure that is, I might have switched it on. But there's no, um, I, I don't like, I don't know, it looks, it looks weird because um, look the original from all angles looks looks nicer. This looks fake. It looks uh, very plasticky. Or this is made of aluminium. It's much more nicer to hold the old one. Whereas this one is not very nice in terms of the looks. Or the the tips are the same. It feels rubbery. It might be aluminium. I don't know. This part is rubber. Um, yeah. So and it hasn't got this the uh, the metal. I think the magnetic strip feels across all, but I don't know what this is because this one's got all across, whereas that one's just got at the bottom. So yeah, that's the difference between the two pens. I don't know what the sensitivity is like. Like I said, this feels a little bit heavier. The old one, this is slightly lighter. Um, yeah, it's all about the performance. Let's let's get the performance sorted out, and then we'll. we'll uh, so I'm just this up. coming back to this, just setting this all up. Hi there, I'm Cortana, Hello. and I'm here to help. Hello. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Okay. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. How about, hurry up. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the windows, control and enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Let's dig in. Let's dig in indeed. Your region is set to United Kingdom. Is that correct? How did you know? Um, yes, it's correct. Uh, yes, it's correct. Oh, wicked! Look at that. Your keyboard is set to United Kingdom. Would you like to stick with that? Yes, please. Uh huh. Sure. Which keyboard do you want to use? United Kingdom, please. I see that you want to use US. No. Is that correct? No, 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 no. No. Okay, don't let me hold you up. Just pick the one you want from the list. United Kingdom. Ah, do it. Let's have a look. Um, where is the United Kingdom keyboard? United Kingdom. Oh, there you go, United Kingdom. Right, yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Yes, I do. Next up, the legal stuff. Um, In I... short, you have to accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no. Accept. I've read. Connection. That's so cool. Follow the instructions now to finish connecting. Right? You're connected. Now, we'll check for any updates. Yeah. Hey, look, it's the me part of setup. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Hell no. No, thank you very much. No. These are the settings that Microsoft requires. Review them now and select accept when you're ready. Uh, location. No. Help us fix things and improve Microsoft. No. Relevant ads. No. Speech recognition. No. Tenant experience with diagnostic data. Hell no. That's a problem. They collect all this data and they sell it off or one day these stuff gets leaked and then someone has your private data so that's the last step that's the last step took a while to uh, boot but you know what it did the trick so you need so. to get a few more things polished oh. up for you and windows will be all yours come on looking forward to helping out let me just reduce the volume a little bit oh yeah wicked. hi hello wicked's got um 
We're getting everything ready for you. They're getting everything ready for me. Okay guys, so we're back online now and uh, every, everything seems to be connected and I'm online. So uh, now it's for the test in terms of, uh, I want to check the actual, I want to check the pen and see how effective this is. So, so let me get the app running, the uh, pen app. I think it's called Paint 3D and see how it goes. So I've got Paint 3D running in the background now. Um, I'm not sure what this is, it says welcome. I think I'm gonna go to new. Right, let's put this to full screen. Ah, <laughs> me tapping, it's kind of drawing. So um, let's go to full screen. So this is the old pen. And um, I'm not sure if it's gonna work straight away. Oh yeah, it does work straight away. So I'm, it's, it's quite, what's this? All right guys, so I'm, I'm back with the, the old pen still. I'm gonna lightly draw across. See, it doesn't really draw much. I have to push quite hard to get something up and running, all right? So let me try with the, with the new pen. So this is the new pen. Uh, I'm not sure if this will see it straight away, so. Oh, wicked, there yeah, it does. Let me take a, okay, so I, I still need to put some pressure in terms of drawing. Oh man, what's this? So, I, I, I mean, the, with regards to the pen, I think it's great, look at that. I could do a lot of things, I mean, it's quite, I mean, the um, the response is about, so it's good, so if I write, and I, I'm probably writing the wrong way, hello, and it's amazing, so, with regards to the actual writing and stuff, it's amazing. I can't, I can't believe that they have a tablet like this, I never use a tablet like this to do stuff like this, so this is pretty cool. Can I use both at the same time? I don't know, let's have a look. I can't use both at the same time. Ah, this is stopped working. Why did this stop working? I don't know, did it? No, it's working now. So if I do new, save. So I think if I'm using the old one, so straight up, right? Now if I use a new one, oh, it works as well. So why does it work at the same time? Oh, it doesn't work at the same time. See, it's confusion, it's confusing for it. doesn't know what's what. So if I do this, it works. If I do that, it works. Um, to the sensitivity, I don't know. I'm, I'm putting a bit, bit of pressure. You have to put pressure on the pen for it to work. And here I'm putting no pressure. If I put pressure, do you know what? No, I can't tell. Putting a little bit of pressure using this pen works straight away. And putting, you know, I have to push further in order to get this to work. So, so again, push it down. Yeah, but with this one, if I just do this, it works. So this is definitely the better pen. What about the rubber? Oh yeah, it rubs it. It rubs it out, but just um, not the right thickness. Uh, let's select the the rubber. Let's increase the thickness, and let's have a look. Yeah. In fact, what I might do is um, let's do this. Let's do that. Okay, and then let's do this. Just thickness a little bit. Look at that. That's pretty cool. What about this one? See, look at that. S -s slight delay. Look at that. Slight delay. I don't know, maybe I'm holding it wrong. How is this now? Yeah, that's better. How about that one? Let me try to draw a, a picture with, with this pen. Save. So I'll, I'll try something uh, with the new pen, all right? All right, let me draw a picture quickly using the new pen, okay? So um, I want to continue on this. I've got a picture in my head that I think will work. So um, just bear with me one second. But right, just doing the final touches and there, I'm done I think. Well, I hope you uh, like this new picture I've created. Uh, let me see if I could uh, um, zoom out a little bit towards for your, for your pleasure. So yeah, here we go. I've just drawn a picture. It looks great, right? It's amazing using this pen. Um, just did it all from scratch, all from my head. So uh, yeah, not an artist you could tell. Uh, the pens are amazing. They're great things. Um, 
So ideally, I think they probably have to go through proper testing. This, they say this is better, it's more sensitive, more pressure sensitive. You could probably do more, but I don't think this, is, this tablet is made for, for drawing. So uh, uh, just made for having a good, you know, just for doodling really. And I um, haven't seen anyone really use it for a proper, like as, a, as an artist. Maybe there are people out there who use it, I don't know. I might have to check it out, but yeah. So far, I'm, I'm, not, I'm loving this, it's just amazing. It's, um, I haven't used that much, I need to give it some time to use it in the office and see how it goes. So um, what we'll do though, since we're here, um, I want to unbox the keyboard as well, because that's the, that's the part. So you have the, I've got the Cobalt Blue keyboard, which kind of goes with this. Uh, that this I think they have a burgundy and they have a platinum, um, platinum color, same color as the pen. But I kind of wanted to go for this one, which is um, so really just a keyboard and some instructions inside. I don't want to know about the instructions. So uh, let's see how this goes. So I think so, oh oh wow, it's magnetic, and it picked it up straight away. So um, let's see, the max track works fine. See that the Windows key works, and you know what? It's really nice. Got a really premium feel to it. It's just looks really nice you know the whole thing is that I'm worried about this might worn, get worn out because it's got like a um, suede look like suede leather or, or suede material uh, I'm just worried that when food if food hits gets there or over time it might get dirty because you know it's harder to clean I, I suppose um, also what what the thing about this is it could you know worn out wear out from the time that you you you've rested your wrist on here but so far it looks amazing obviously with anything that's new looks good so um it's pretty light man it's really it's really cool so uh the keyboard here has got the microsoft logo right there so uh and the pen i suppose just goes here so do you know what i think it's great it looks amazing i uh, can't wait to like, personalize it configure it and start using it all in all i think it's a great tablet laptop if you want to call it laptop i think it's great for the office it's got all the high specs that you would expect from a business laptop uh, it's great for drawing if you if you want to draw and have, give it to the kids and for them to have a go at it so all in all i think it's great it's just um just getting used to the uh, the whole layout of it i have the docking station as well that i that came with the laptop that i bought the book uh it's quite a heavy heavy docking station obviously because of the power supply um, it's got pretty good, uh, uh, impressive connectivity. So it's got, you know, obviously the power, your network cable. It's got two DVs. It's got your um, headphone jack, two USBs. That's all on the back. And on the front, actually, you know what? That is the front. I think on the back has got two, two USBs. So uh, let's let's get this box open. We have the actual. Look at that. We have the actual docking station. That's pretty small, actually. pretty small. So it's got your standard connections. It's quite heavy as well. Oh my gosh, that's that's really heavy. It's got your connection, standard connections, and you've got two USBs here as well. Um, there's some instructions that I don't read. That you should. And you got your heavy power supply. power supply and that is roughly about 15 watt it's a 15 watt power supply so that comes with it as well and just a plug in there as well so with regards to the um, uh, docking station the only thing is if you're going to be mobile so if you're going to be traveling make sure you carry the little one the one that comes with the uh, service pro because this is too heavy to carry anyway and, and you probably have to carry a huge um, power supply and the docking station to get some sort of power to your uh, service pro anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe leave a comment and i will see you in the next one take it easy